Hi guys, this is the Chinchilla Notebook, and today I'm going to be doing a video on good and bad chinchilla cages. This is a voiceover, so I apologize if like the video doesn't always go with what I'm saying, but I'm going to try my best here. So yeah, I'm just going to be starting out with the good cages, and I also want to warn everybody out there that some of the cages that the pet stores sell and say are good for chinchillas are really too small and not adequate, and I really want to warn you all because there's a lot that are not good. So I'm going to first start with my cage. Mine is a Critter Nation and it is this big and it's Critter Nation model 162 which is the double union unit and the difference between a Ferret Nation and a Critter Nation is that the Ferret Nation got like wider horizontal bars while Critter Nation is like really small kind of going parallel to the side and it is like two and a half feet wide and five feet tall maybe I'm not sure exactly but um, there's a preview Hendrix ferret cage, I think it's cold, that's similar to this cage. It's, I think, cheaper, maybe not a, like the same measurements as far as centimeters, but it's very similar. And this costs maybe $140, this cage. It's got a little hole there, and it's pretty spacious. Just a chinchilla shouldn't live in one of these. A single chinchilla should have a whole two-unit cage, not just one. And a lot of people just block it off and leave their chinchilla in one. It's really not big enough. It's not any better from those other cages from the stores, even if you have a double unit. So make sure you get a double unit for one chinchilla. You can keep two in a double unit. And there, there's these little grates underneath here that are not safe for chinchilla's feet, but the cage itself comes with a plastic liner that I just cover with fleece, and that's what keeps his feet nice and safe. So any cages like this, you can make them homemade. You can just, you know, this cage is kind of small. It's, it's, I mean, it's not too small, but it's just almost there. It could be a bit bigger, though. So now we're going to get into the bad cages. And any bad cages, I'm going to show a few pictures just now. Any, any kind of cage with plastic that's too small, all these kind of cages, they're really not even safe for hamsters. I don't know why you would keep a chinchilla. Chinchillas need to jump around. They need uh, taller rather than large, wide I mean. They, they really need space to jump around. So any of these kind of cages, usually, typically the pet stores only have bad cages for chinchillas. You really need to give them their space. So that is all for this video. Sorry it was kind of abrupt, but yeah, see you guys next time.